Right, our tube is day three of this uh, exciting solar hot water challenge. Um, it's odd, everyone's, I've had this echo in my ear. David Poz, I think his name is. Um, I binged watched a few of his videos, a lot of his videos. David, you do a good job, mate. You got a new subscriber. So it turns out everything you said was true. Um, one thing I wonder is one of his tests that he did, the tanks weren't under load, so it was just heating and cooling the same water that was there. It wasn't adding new cold water. So I wonder about the efficiencies and stuff of his tests with that side of things, but I guess that's, yeah, that's neither here nor there really, is it? At the end of the day, I'm using with what I've got, um, and it's, it's just a YouTube video and I'm learning something from it, which is fantastic from all the user interaction on both Facebook, the forum, and on the comment section below. So, what have I learned? Well, it's just hot water. Now, I've got it working, I've got three panels. Unfortunately, I couldn't get four panels. I don't have the parts to get the four panels hooked up. I had them in series, and that didn't work the same as what David did. And then I had two panels in parallel, uh, that didn't work so well. I added a third one and now I've got 22 volts and 22 amps going in. So I'm quite happy with that. Now the hot water, the element is uh, 24 volt and 600 watt element. So we're getting, I think we're really close to where I need to be with three panels. It's working really well. I can feel the tank already starting to warm a little bit. You know, the edges come off of it. It's only been running for about an hour. So let me run you down there very quickly. We'll have a look. We'll grab the thermal camera, have another look at those panels because a couple of people said those panels were getting hot just because of the, the they're, they're essentially dead short. So that makes sense to me. I didn't do too much Googling on that, but it makes sense to me. As for that big solar hot water panel I've got, some people have said, yeah, fix it up, it'll work. I really have no interest in fixing that up. It was sort of, Yesterday when I was pulling it apart, it was one of those things that seemed like a good thing at the time. And I'll throw it in the video. I mean, they're no effort videos. They're just having a bit of fun and sharing my journey and hopefully learning something while I'm at it. But if somebody else wants to have a crack at that, I won't destroy it anymore, I reckon. But there is a council pickup next week. Uh, so I might throw it out on, on the curb and someone might grab it for scrap, I would imagine. But if someone wants it, you know where I live. Well, Macy knows where I live. Come and grab it. Anyway, let's go for a walk. Let's go and have a look what I got happening down there. Rightio, sun smashing me in my face and I can't see whether you can see anything here, but three panels, three panels. They're 250 watt, the same one I had in the video the other day. I've had a few offers of panels and stuff like that. I'd like to turn them all down because I don't think I'm gonna go any further with this test. Um, proof of concept, it actually works. Three panels, 22 volts, 22 amps. So let's take you off the tripod. Take it down and have a look. There we go, there's the volts, so 22.8 volts. Now that's actually in range of that, so I could pro I'm could. i probably still gonna have to put a resistor on it, but I still don't have the resistor in stock. Um, I can put a resistor on that and run that direct, so I don't need the battery, and then it just turns the relay off at night time, which I'm keen to actually do. And then we got 22 amps. My math says it should be about 25 amps is that element. So I think we're pretty good on the money. We have a little bit of drippage coming out there, but it's not warm yet. Oh well, it's warm, but only from the sun. And then down here, earlier this morning, it was very, very cold. And now it's, it's not warm, but it's sort of taken the edge off. So we'll leave it for a couple of hours. I'll do another video later on in the day and then give you an update. But then I'm more excited to actually get this out and put it where it's going. The end goal is to go off grid. It's a 24 volt system. No power, no power lines, no water, no nothing. Um, I am creating a video about that. If you're a Patreon member, you already have access to that video. Well, at least the very early better stage. Uh, it needs a lot of extra work, I promise you. But for Patreon members, I'm trying to be a little bit more active, giving these guys some value for money. I've been absolutely missing from that platform for a year. Uh, I hate asking for money or begging, so I've sort of tried to just let it grow organically. It doesn't grow organically, apparently. But anyway, tubers, I'll see you in a couple of hours when that thing's hot, and we'll see if we can volts and amps and things again later. Yeah, tubers, we are four hours in. 
we have still got perfect sun on those panels which is fantastic i even gave them a bath and you know cleaned all the bird shit off of them and we are going fantastic we actually have hot water look at that that is the over no there's the exit pipe it's nice and hot i can still touch it so it's not burning up and let's see if i can get the cross hatches on that at 45 degrees so we are getting there all the pipes are nice and all the pipes are nice and hot and if you have a look in there we've got some real heat so about 50 51 degrees now i have got the thermostat set to and this is where you you know uh, 60 degrees so that is likely to actually turn off soon with the thermostat which will, i guess will be an interesting test uh that will prove it that it works with only three panels Let's grab the multimeter and the clamp meter now and have a quick look. So still doing 22 amps. As you can see from the panels there, they're nice full sun. Let's ramp back a little bit. Grab the multimeter. Let's see if I can do this for you. It's going to be around the wrong way for sure. And there we go. Look at that. So it's doing 20, volt, 20 volts, 20.8 volts, and 21 amps. So that puts it about 88 amp hours so far to get it from probably 10 degrees to 50 degrees. I'm making numbers up, but that, that's close enough. I'm happy with that. It's a very good proof of concept that the idea works. One more panel, and I reckon, what, I've had four panels there. I reckon this would heat up in maybe four hours and that would actually switch off again so i'm pretty happy with that i got three or four kilowatt of panels out there on the on the roof um, charging the battery so i don't think we're going to have any problem at all getting this hot water to maybe 80 degrees every day so tubers that concludes another one the next time you see this rig will either be on facebook or when I release the actual video. So thanks very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for all of your input. Just as a plane flies over, I'll see you on the next one.